Boys, this is absolutely insane. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and check out how busted Hulk is now. It is an absolute insane insanity of insane proportions. I'm gonna pop the tier four, pop the tier three, pop the four, and he's gone. <laughs> 25 second first phase no big i know this is solo but i also know that i'm using um uh, uh, miss marv or um <laughs> i'm using uh, what's her name uh, uh america chavez instead of uh, another better support and i'm not saying that america chavez is not a bad support but uh you can certainly get better than this so check check out this insane damage it's all about the tier four for those of you wondering what's going on why is Hulk doing so much damage? The tier four skill for Hulk was fixed. I'm guessing it wasn't uh, working properly beforehand, and now it is working properly. Well, this is the result of it working properly. My goodness, he absolutely rips through GBR and basically all other content like a machine hell-bent on destroying Sarah Connors' universe. So check this out. We're a minute and 20 seconds in, and Dormammu's basically already begging. He's like, please, Alex, stop. Seriously, dude, this is too much damage. And I'm like, nah, it's okay. This is a solo, I know, but I just want to, like, clarify how fast we're going. This is under two minutes full solo. This is insanity. And the great thing about Hulk is you can have the tier four up almost the whole time. I know what you guys are thinking. Alex, that was a solo. What about when he has full HP? Can you carry a whole team using a PvP Hulk? Oh, yeah. Let's let's go ahead and see if we can do that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and see if Hulk can full solo. We got Tiz Creations and Berserker UK who have agreed to stand still and watch the show that Hulk is about to put on. And oh baby, is it gonna be a show? We're gonna pop the tier th the tier three after the tier four, and we're gonna rip it. Let's go! One shot! But 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 he's gone. He's done. That's twenty. That's twenty six seconds. He's done. He's gone. Ring the bell. The fight's over. That was a TK. That was a, that was a KO. Okay. Unfortunately, because I was the only one who did damage, I got sent to the zone. That's fine. Uh. <laughs> Okay, this can obviously go faster if your teammates are attacking a little bit, but it doesn't matter. That's fine. We're going to do this this way. I, listen, I don't I don't think I really need to express how insanely good. I'm just going to I'm just going to cancel the five. Screw it. I, I don't think I need to explain. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six bars, seven bars, almost seven bars of damage. I don't think I really need to go into insane detail on how crazy this damage output is from Hulk. I have a PvP build, ladies and gentlemen. I need you to understand how insane this damage is right now. Hulk is going absolutely sicko mode, and there's literally nothing that any other combat type can do. I'm so sorry, Venom. Of course, uh, Moon Knight, they're all getting RIP'd right now. The graves are open. The ditches are being dug. It's game time. Listen, guys, less than two minutes into the fight, a minute 30 into the fight, and Dormammu is almost dead. Guys, they overbuffed Hulk. I don't know what they did, what kind of Hulk steroids they gave him, but it's game time. It's over. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this damage. It's absolutely stunning. I, I cannot, I honestly cannot fathom, understand what the devs did. They basically made his tier four work. His tier four wasn't working at all for GBR, and he's an absolute monster now. It's over, guys. Two minutes. Two minute full carry solo with a PVP build. I'm gonna keep the camera running. We're not gonna do any jump cuts. That was two minutes and one second, and I got sent to the, the, the mindless zone. It would have been faster. It would have been like 10 seconds faster. A sub two minute full solo, and I got some of his ripped pants. It's mind blowing. Hulk may very well be the best character in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, with the camera running, let us now take a look at the build. Full PvP build on the Urus. Maxed out combat type enhancement, which you can get for free through the story mode fragment farming tickets. You don't have to spend type enhancement kits on it because he's not a native tier two. Protect the Captain ISO 8 set. You can go with Power of Angry Hulk. This is better for PvP. By the way, four star artifact, which everyone got for free. Cha-ching! And then the Piece de Resistance. A P V P C T P. Now, 
I know what you're thinking. It's a brilliant, Alex. I can't afford a brilliant. I'm not a big, huge whale like you. You're right. And that's okay because what you need from this CTP is the HP. To do damage in PvE content, to do damage to Dormammu, to do damage to Null and all these other bosses, all you need is the HP. The rest of the stats don't really matter. The defense is nice for very, very high stages of Mephisto, but you don't need it to do damage and the attack doesn't matter. So a regular CTP of regen can still roll as high as, look at this, 34%. So I would only be getting 4% more HP than you. So it doesn't matter that it's a brilliant. What I'm saying in essence is you can take a regular CTP of regeneration and you can give it to Hulk now at tier four and he will literally shred the underwear off of your body. That's how much damage he does now. And then, of course, we have the Uniform Mythic. It's all about his overwhelming power. It literally is overwhelming. Let's take a look at what it says. Activation rate when the Striker skill is used increases the final damage dealt by 200% to the target with a higher max HP than the character, which is Hulk. In 90, in basically 100% of PvP, PvE content, excuse me, PvE content, the boss is going to have more HP than you because like the Null's HP starts at like 5 million and it goes up. Dormammu has 1.5 billion HP. So of course that's going to be more than Hulk. So the final damage that Hulk is dealing is getting modified and is getting a two times multiplier or a three times multiplier or four times. I don't know what 200% is. It's more than a two times multiplier would be, I think, 100%. But anyways, and then it still works good in PvP. Decreases the final damage received by 50% if they have, um, if the target has a lower max HP than the character, if Hulk has more HP than them. So that, that second line is strictly for PvP. That first line there is for PvE. And that's what is so insane about it. And even if you don't have a tier four Moon Knight, if you can just use a tier three, character that you have or a transcended character that's human you're still going to get 190 percent there is not a huge difference here between 190 and 200 and he absolutely obliterates content obliterates what's that stage 59 of mephisto but he's blast alex hulk is combat oh no maybe he'll do a lot of, maybe he'll survive and he won't you take too much damage but he's not going to do enough damage right his damage is being reduced by like 20 30 40 percent look at all those sad gray numbers i don't want to hear it soldier Get ready, buckle up for the absolute insanity that you're about to witness. When I pop this tier three and then we rip this tier, then we rip this fourth skill after wrapping the tier four, it's game time, baby. Are you seeing the numbers? Three million, four million, 20 seconds in, baby. He's going faster than Iron Man. That's right, superior Iron Man cannot keep up with this absolute behemoth unit of a character. Look at this damage, one, two, three, four, five, six bars. You can literally teach your kids how to count by watching you play Hulk in, PV in PvE content because he is just a ripping machine. Now, when the tier four skill is not up, the damage is a little bit more, it's a little bit more, you know, it's just regular testosterone getting pumped straight into your veins. It's not that creatine steroid infused testosterone. Okay, but once you pop that tier four, it's right back into it from the top rope. Ladies and gentlemen, we're 53 seconds into this fight. 53 seconds. I have a PvP build. I really cannot stress how insane this is. This is like, this is like nothing I've ever seen. We just did more than half of his HP bar in one rotation. I'm so sorry to every other tier four in the game, but you have literally just been made obsolete. Look at this damage just flowing, dude absolutely flowing and glowing we're gonna pop the tier four we're gonna pop the tier three it's it's over ladies and gentlemen it's 100 percent over okay so i completely forgot that i hadn't done my world boss runs for the day when i was recording this video because i was so hyped for hulk so i accidentally uh was playing and got way too excited and I had to cancel out before uh the fight registered because i haven't even re-rolled my boss the day or anything like that but yeah let's do a little bit more What's that? You want to see a higher stage? Let's go to 64, stage 64 of Null with no real increased damage supports. We just have HP on both Kingpin's lead and America Chavez support to the tune of 70%. There's obviously going to be uh, diminishing returns on the HP eventually, right? So let's see how he pops off here. There's the tier three, there's the fourth skill, and okay, no biggie. We just skipped almost a full cage phase. Oh, here we go. Some more damage. <laughs> ignore, ignore, dodge. 
We don't need that. We're literally Hulk. We're 30 seconds into this fight without a traditional support, and he is absolutely insane. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I just, I, yeah. They, they, Hulk is so cracked. Look at this. 41 second phase one with a PvP build. I really cannot stress this enough. With a PvP build. What I'm trying to say is the speed and the velocity and the carnage, the, the, the aggression, the, the, the violence that you're witnessing is actually not Hulk's limit. If you have a CTP of Rage equipped on your Hulk, you can feel G-Force power twice, maybe three times faster than what I'm showing you. Not ex not actually, not, not literally, but, but seriously, this is a PvP build and he's going this fast. I could make him go faster by giving him a rage. And I'm honestly tempted to do it on Friday with the discount just to show you guys how insane he can be. Because I'm lucky enough to have a lot of HP on my cards. 86%. So I feel like there may be some diminishing returns here with him having all this HP stacked up. And on the flip side, the rage, <laughs> it's going to ignore the boss's defense decrease. And we know that Rage is busted for GBR. So, yeah. I'm I'm honestly scared of what's going to happen. It might, might crash the game. I don't know. But I had to make this video and I had to show you guys and I had to be hype because this is crazy. He is so valuable now. He is so valuable for players that want a two-way character. Right? A two-way character being a character that you can build for one game mode that can compete in both. We talked about how insane Adam Warlock was as a two-way character. We talked for so long, and we were so happy about how insane Spider-Man was as a two-way character. You're looking at the next Spider-Man, again, on steroids. Spider-Man ain't got nothing on what Hulk is doing nowadays. He obliterates. He literally one-taps any character in the game in PvP. And, oh, whoops, now he's one-tapping every character in the game in PvE. He's one-tapping all the bosses. So, yeah, get that Tier 4 Hulk. I would honestly prioritize him because I think he's the best character in the game. Straight up. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video and the hype and I'm sweating. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. Smash the like button and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.